Alrighty, what is up guys? Uh, so my name is RJ, welcome to Norris Outdoors. I'm gonna give you a quick report of how we fished the Fox River and how it went. So April 1st, which was uh, yesterday, we went out and we fished the Fox River um, super bad just to cut straight to the chase. The water clarity was absolutely terrible. So what we should have done before we went up was check the water turbidity, which you can find at the USGS website. I'll drop a link in the description and show you guys what the graph looks like right here. But essentially the water clarity was absolutely terrible. I mean, I think we had about one inch visibility, maybe less. Like if you dropped your bait in the water, you couldn't see the bottom half of it and the top half would be out of the water. So that made it really tough. Uh, but in order to kind of combat this, what we tried to do was fish a lot of rattling baits. So you got ripping wraps, blade baits. And then we also tried like scented stuff, uh, live bait, jig and a minnow, rattling jig and a minnow, all that. And we, we basically, what we did was we ran around the river and we scanned fit for fish on site imaging. And then we pitched jigs to them and tried to get them to bite. Uh, that did not work. We did find a lot of fish. I'll throw up an image of our side imaging here. So as you can see, we found plenty of fish, but with that water clarity being what it is, it was so tough. And in addition to that, you know, maybe if the water temperature was a little bit warmer, we could have got them on the rattling baits, but water temps dropped from, you know, 42 degrees down to 37, 38 while we were there. And I'll drop a link to the USGS temperature graph uh, down below. So you can check that out and throw it up here. So definitely recommend we're checking those two indicators. And then, so after we tried jigging the minnow and everything, we went up and just tried to fish the dam, uh, which was loaded with boats as usual, probably a hundred boats up there, everyone jigging. And throughout our entire time jigging at the dam, which was probably about an hour and a half, uh, I did not see a single person land a walleye. Uh, I think I saw one or two like snagged whitefish and stuff, but nobody was catching walleye. So I don't think it was just us. It was just really tough conditions out there with the water turbidity like that. Um, there was also the Swamp Donkeys night trolling tournament that night. And we decided to go night trolling a bit just to see if that was going to work. So. We moved out to some flats that were about 10 feet and we trolled for maybe two hours and we trolled uh, Smithwick P10s, I'll drop a link in the description. Those are usually really good. We also trolled Rapala HJ12s, HJ14s, uh, and Flicker Shad. So we tried a lot of the most common trolling baits and nothing. We were running six rods, so we had plenty of stuff out there and we were um, we trolled all the way up and down the flats from 10 feet down to 20 feet and we were seeing fish on side imaging the entire time. So if you're thinking about going up there, yeah, make sure you check those two indicators, turbidity and temperature. And also flows are probably worth thinking to look at, but I figured I'd just let you guys know how we did. And if you want to see more updated reports as we continue into the walleye spawn, feel free to subscribe. Thanks.